What's going on guys? So, as you know, I am getting ready for uh, TX2K, which is one of the biggest events I will probably go to this year. It's a really serious race, a lot of very fast cars, and on top of that, it is about 1,500 miles from my house. Like, 17 hours or something crazy, something like that. So, I have to be very prepared, very ready to do whatever I need to on the car, make sure it's good, all that stuff, you know, it's gonna be a three or four day race of testing the car, beating on the car, trying to run personal bests, all that. Get into that once we're there. But you guys know me, I have always been kind of a prepper in a way. I've always brought way too much stuff with us. I've always just packed an excessive amount of things because I would rather pack and unpack something than not have it when I'm at the event. So I laid out everything that I bring with me to an event so I can kind of itemize, show you guys what it takes to run a seven second car at an event in an open trailer, you know, with just a pickup truck. This is not a stacker. This is not a big enclosed trailer. This is not a toter home. This is me, Bronte, truck and open trailer so just show you guys how i do things and how i try to bring everything that i could potentially need with me within reason so let's just go through the list here so we'll start on this side you guys know i put ice in my car so cooler very needed bring about five bags of ice to a track day i bring a tarp bring a moving blanket because you never know when you'll need those things, bring my radio to listen to the track announcements, rags, wet rags, more rags, spark plugs, funnel, brake clean, filter cutter, filter tool to get it out of the car, enough to do two oil changes, one filter, I need to get actually two more filters because I'd like to have a bunch of them here keep more brake clean trans fluid detailer you know, jb weld gasket maker dielectric grease wd-40 funnel for the uh transmission it's got to have that little guy on it backup trans brake or bump box button in case that fails fuses enough uh plug wires just in case some vacuum line, miscellaneous lengths, in case I melt a vacuum line. Another just rag. Charger for the Milwaukee batteries. Then power tools, tire pump, electric fan, light, tripod light, impact, leaf blower in case it rains so we can dry off the car cutoff wheel with a flabby disc on it and I bring off I bring cutoff wheels got my backpack that I also keep more tools in everything's kind of laid out right now but keep the tools in this I keep my log book and the laptop in the backpack racing gear keep it in here everything's always all in one I usually keep that in the car tire pressure gauge nitrous bottle warmer a bunch of different kinds of tape Power probe is very nice to have with you. You never know what you're gonna need this on, whether it be the race, whether it be the truck or the trailer or the car. That just comes in handy. Bunch of batteries, zip ties, hand tools across the board. These are just um, some of those hand tools I keep with me. Wire cutters and wire strippers. Anything I really need. These are for getting the spark plugs out. These are also for that. Bunch of AN wrenches for doing nitrous bottles or fuel lines or whatever. Little spare wiring kit just in case. Couple spools of wire, couple different uh, heat shrinks. Uh, I usually keep about three drain pans with me just in case. Those are a dollar store, they're great to have. This actually stays in my truck. It has jumper cables, tire repair kit, couple other bunch of random stuff in here just in case um got my zip ties in there 
There is some trailer accessories just in case. Whole emergency kit, there's like a hammer in there. A bunch of random stuff in this. This stays in the truck at all times. Keep my jack with me. Keep a bunch of different straps. Two jack stands. Keep the ramps with me in case I need to um, pull the truck onto it and you know get the car off of it like that if I'm on a hill or something. Or if I wanna pull the car up on it and service it, I can use that. One wheel chalk, the tent, two chairs, fuel. I'll probably end up bringing like three of these small ignite barrels. And then I have my toolbox that has every hand tool I could possibly need. Some of that stuff goes into here. It's got all hand tools in there. Yeah, that is everything that comes with me to a track day and obviously the Camaro too. It is a lot to fit in the truck. Obviously everything goes in the truck, gets locked away. But that is generally the gist of it guys. That's what it takes to run my program at least. This is everything that I bring with me. There is definitely some stuff that I'm missing, some tools that I bring that isn't out there. There's, there's a bunch. If you guys have any questions about stuff, if you have any pointers for stuff I should bring with me, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to answer them. I'd love to hear what you guys think would be a great addition, tools wise or parts or disposables wise because there's always things I'm adding, removing, whatever, trying to uh, basically dial in this program as best I can. It was a very, it was a talking video, but the rest of the week is going to be working towards getting to Texas. So stay tuned for that. That'll do it though, guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.